Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing nine vintage Estee Lauder lipsticks from the 80s and 90s. So if you are interested in vintage beauty products, stay tuned because I have a lot. I brought a lot of vintage lipsticks from a buyer and um, there was nine Estee Lauders. I'm looking over here um, and I'm going to do a separate video for the Moondrop Revlon, which are very sought after, and I will probably resell them after. They actually used to retail for about $3.98, and they are currently selling for anywhere between $75, and really, that was a housefly. Um, $101 on eBay per. So, that's pretty cool. I also have a vintage Elizabeth Arden and the Grey 2 vintage L'Oreal but I'm going to be saving those five for a different video. Today we're going to be reviewing nine vintage 80s, 90s, and possibly 70s, if anybody knows, the white tube. Um, when did Estee Lauder use this white tube? Pretty interesting. Okay, so how do I handle vintage beauty products when I purchase them for videos or what have you? I do two things. I usually ask if they were ever used. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. These ones, they were not ever, she told me they were never used. Regardless, I always take rubbing alcohol and I'm just recycling some setting spray that has been gone for years. I don't even know if they still make this. I just recycle these little spray containers and I use them for rubbing alcohol. I use them for sanitize the hands, sanitize my phone, sanitize all of the things, door handle, handles, everything. I love these. I save them, I fill them with rubbing alcohol and I spray everything. So I do spray the whole, the outside. I spray all around the lip. I let it dry and I do it a second time. And if I'm going to be using any vintage lipsticks, I always use a coating of Vaseline to kind of prep the lip so it's not directly on your skin. There's a barrier. Um, and yeah, that's all I do. So anyways, without further ado, okay, so I'm going to be starting with this vintage Estee Lauder and it is all day Estee Lauder in Plumwood. Now this was the only lip out of all of them that just smelled like Play-Doh and it kind of, it's kind of just kind of sticky um, and it's definitely turned, like I would never use this. I'm going to show you the color regardless. I'm not gonna put it on my lips, but I wanna show you the color, Plumwood. And people use these, they take the, the bullets out and they put like their favorite color if they happen to love the container because old lipstick containers are so much better than what we have now, let's face it. So anyways, this is color called Plumwood and I'm just going to show you, I guess on my skin, but it's kind of tacky and, and sticky and um, it smells like Play-Doh and that's the color Plumwood. And I would not recommend using it. I will probably sell it on eBay and list it uh, for just not for use, just for decor. Okay, so the next one is a blue marbled. If anybody knows what year these ones came out or left, this is Estee Lauder. And it says not for sale, which makes me kind of wonder if it was Island Coral, not for sale. I'm wondering if this was a tester at one point because when you open it, look how pretty. It's even marked there, Estee Lauder, and it says not for sale. And it is the gorgeous color. I love this color, it's the color of my nails. And this is what Island Coral looks like. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. And I will try her on with just a little bit of Vaseline, Vaseline to coat your lips. Okay, so it's just like a coating. And then you put it on. I am not using a camera, I'm using my phone. If you see me looking in the, in the phone instead of where I should be looking, I'm sorry, that's what I'm doing, that's all I have. And that's Island Coral, very beautiful. And it doesn't have any weird smell or anything like that. So that's the color, very, very pretty. All right, moving right along, the next one is called Candy number 116. Candy, and this is a solid navy blue Estee Lauder container. And this is what candy looks like. Very pretty mauve, and it looks like maybe a frosted lip. Just as pure color, number 116 candy. And let's just put it next to the coral. Oh, very smooth. Violety pink and purple. And what I usually t use to take off my lipstick and all my makeup are these little Sephora, um, these little Sephora 
makeup removers. I use them, I have a bunch of them, and I just throw them in the wash each night. And uh, they really exfoliate the lip really good. And also, not the same one, but you could use a clean one and you just wet it with warm water. It takes your waterproof mascara off, with it, which is nice. So this is candy. Nothing. Don't wanna forget the Vaseline. A little Vaseline to coat. And then let's try on candy. Again, no scent. Okay, it's very frosty. Mm. And that's what she looks like. Very nice. Okay, candy. All right. Next is one more navy container. And this is called Hot Kiss Pure Color by Estee Lauder. Hot Kiss. And let's use the other side to take this off. All right. Where are my vintage beauty lovers? I want to hear from you. And if you have channels, because I will check them out, I watch a lot of vintage uh, beauty channels. That color is not attractive to me, but it may be attractive to you. This is called Hot Kiss, really. It looks brown, but maybe no scent. Maybe it won't come off. I have. I just got got these. I haven't tried them yet. Plum brown. So let's try it. Oh, and there you go. Did I forget it? Yes, I did. Okay. Vaseline. Okay. Leave that out. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hot kiss. Oof. Okay. Should bring a mirror out here. And Hot Kiss, it is pretty. It's, I would say, brownie plum. It actually reminds me of Drew Barrymore, the one that she loved in the 90s, and also Jennifer Aniston and Friends. Clinique, Black Honey, that's what it reminds me of, Black Honey. That's what it looks like. I thought it was ugly, it actually looks pretty. Again, that is 148 by Estee Lauder, pure color. Um, Hot Kiss, 148. And I am curious if they still sell these just you know repackaged reformulated maybe okay um five more to go next you're gonna do the white container if anybody knows what year this is the white container and I, it kind of feels like 60s or 70s i don't know i feel like my grandma used to have these containers back in the day in the 80s i kind of feel like i remember seeing these but maybe not so this is estee lauder ceramic pink polished performance lipstick ceramic pink and kind of kind of reminds me of that last one a little just with a little bit more pink okay we don't want to forget the vaseline to coat there we go and ceramic pink let's try her out all right very smooth no scent that is gorgeous that's beautiful it's like an everyday color when you just want to put something on quick to go, curl your eyelashes, put one coat of mascara, and out the door you go. All right, that's what that looks like. And moving right along, we have two other white containers that are kind of like a cream eggshell, and I'm not sure if it's because maybe the color turned because they're vintage and old. But here they are. Now one of them has the sticker and one of them doesn't. I do not know what color this is. Let's just figure it out. Um, I forgot to be putting them there, but you know what, you're seeing them on my lips. But let's see, this color right here. Look at that, wow. I actually really, really like that color. It reminds me of like a wet and wild one that I had as a preteen maybe. And unfortunately there's no color on it. Look at that, it's so beautiful. All right, we're gonna go ahead and show you creamy and uh, maybe one shade lighter than this one. Yeah, one shade lighter. Okay, no scent, Vaseline. All right, and let's try it out. Does this color look familiar? Is anybody like Estee Lauder crazy or works for Estee Lauder or used to work for Estee Lauder? I will tag Estee Lauder. Beautiful color, okay. Wow, that is gorgeous, rich and creamy. I really like that one too. I like them all. So I am a lipstick hoarder, definitely. 
I probably have anywhere between two and 300, maybe 400, not over 400 lipsticks because I've been collecting all my life. Okay, so the next one is Sundance Pink, and it also is a tester. It says not for individual use, and it's like that eggshell color uh, container. Take it off. Take the lip. Okay, put the Vaseline on. Okay, and so this color, like I said, was Ceramic Pink. Wow, it's gorgeous. Somewhat a little bit like my nails as well. Ceramic Pink. And let's put it next to the other. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so ceramic pink. And very rich and creamy, but it could be because of Vaseline. But it's very smooth. Again, another everyday color, very pretty. You're either a nude girl, a red girl, or a pink girl. If you like pinks, I think you're gonna really like this pink. All right, again, that is Sundance Pink. Did I say Ceramic Pink? I feel like I said Ceramic Pink. Sundance Pink was the last one. Oh, the other one, I don't know what the other one was. Ceramic, Ceramic Pink. Right there. And this is Sundance Pink right here. <laughs> All right, so let's take that one off. And the last two we have are these gold containers. And I am not sure what color Estee Lauder. I usually don't buy Estee Lauder. Uh, I use a lot of their skincare, but as far as makeup, I don't have that much, that much makeup uh, for Estee Lauder. So I don't know if anyone else knows where these gold containers came from. And notice how this one has like, almost like a mushroom head right there. And this one does not. And they must be different because this one says Christmas red. Oh, uh, let's see. And it has a black, black sticker made in new york christmas red and then this one has a yellowish sticker and it says fresh raspberry and you see the batch code just fyi in the black numbers i'm going to link in the description the lipstick website that a lot of people don't know about and if you're going to buy used products heck if you're going to buy a new lipstick out in any store department store walmart you know um cvs wherever most of them have those batch codes, and what you do is you go to this website that slipped my mind, but I have it on my phone. I will link it in the description, and you put uh, the brand. It's a it's a calculator how old the, how old your lipsticks are. Now it's only been around since you know social media and apps and stuff. So I don't think. In fact, these ones don't even have batch codes. The vintage ones. So I don't know when. Um, I know Revlon, L'Oreal, any drugstore always has a batch code. I always, I always uh, notice that batch code. MAC lipsticks, definitely. There are so many MAC lipsticks on Poshmark and eBay. And, and there's so many sellers saying that they're fresh and they're new. And if they show a picture, you can guess I'm going to right go to the calculation uh, app thing that I have that, and put in that code with the brand. And it tells you when it expired which i think was is so cool most of them say um like 2020 2018 uh i'm not sure i've been using that that uh website to determine that for maybe it was it was pre c definitely so i'm thinking maybe 2016 or 2017 i started and um and then i wanted to like check all my lipsticks you know to see if they've expired and when they expire, lipsticks usually stay good for about three years. And when they turn, they smell like Play-Doh, which is that one that I told you, the plum wood. They smell really bad. And I've also brought like some NARS before and Tom Ford that smell really bad. So that's the first sign. If you have a lipstick and it smells like wax and Play-Doh, not floral, not fresh, then it's not good and you probably shouldn't be using it, even if you do spray it with alcohol. So if, if a lipstick smells fine and it, and it has expired, I'm still spraying it with alcohol and I still feel safe wearing it uh, to each their own. You know, I do put Vaseline. But it's very cool to check your beauty products of when they expired. So I'm going to, if it has a batch code, you could check it and check my description because that is a wicked cool website. Okay, so this is Christmas Red by Estee Lauder. And it is a very bright tomato red, very pretty. 
And let's just show you right here. Smooth, wow, that's gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of Revlon Soft Silver Red. And let's grab a little Vaseline. I'm trying to keep this video under 15 minutes, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Okay, Christmas Red. Usually with red, I like a lip liner, but for the sake of the video, okay. Again, probably not the perfect application, but you know what? I just want to show you the color. That's all that matters. So that's a really pretty red, actually. Makes your teeth look nice and white. Tomato red. And it is called Christmas Red. All right. My lips are sore. I feel it. All right. The ninth lipstick, guys. Ninth lipstick. And this one is Revlon True Lipstick Matte Finish. Matte, I feel like hasn't been around too long but maybe, correct me if I'm wrong. And this is called Fresh Raspberry. Batch, co batch code is 8Y0. Definitely gonna have to check that out. To see how old, okay. So this is Matte Finish, Fresh Raspberry. And this one is very used. Fresh Raspberry, obviously the person's favorite. So that is clearly used. Keep in mind, I did spritz them twice, air dried them, what have you. So I'm still gonna use it for the sake of the video. Okay, Vaseline. They look so red, but they're sore. Okay, Vaseline, okay. And I'm just gonna like kind of use the side, not that it matters, but. Fresh Raspberry, guys, Fresh Raspberry. And it's a berry shade, which I always feel like looks so good on brunettes. Okay. Wow. And that is a true berry. My lips are so sore. Okay, that's what she looks like. And let me just go ahead. Smooth, rich berry. Gosh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm not sure what color I like the best. I feel like I, I think I might like that red. I don't know, what do you guys, what, what's your favorite color out of all? <laughs> Obviously it's not that first one. Do you guys like the red or the plum or do you guys prefer the lighter pinks? I don't know. Very impressed by it. So there you have it, guys. Sorry if this is a little bit too long, but it's just really cool. Vintage products always uh, intrigue me. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be doing more videos in the next couple weeks with some vintage Moondrops Velvet and some um, Elizabeth Arden and vintage L'Oreal, which is also my favorite. I feel like my two favorite brands, Drugstore, are L'Oreal and Revlon. So if you are a drugstore lover of lipsticks, tune in because I have everything but everything from Elf and Wet n Wild to I think Gucci. Yeah, I think Gucci is the my most expensive. No, no, her, take that back. I have a couple Hermes ones too. So um, yeah, any questions? If you're looking for a particular lip, I may have it. Just let me know. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more to come. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share and like and comment below. And I appreciate every one of you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.